I have to admit that if you have a couple minutes to fill every week with new stories about misogyny, there aren't many things that make your job easier than a Hillary Clinton presidential candidacy. And that's not an endorsement per se, but something tells me I'll spend the next 19 months with plenty of headlines to pick like these. We'll start with conservative columnist Don Fetter, who flogged the English language mercilessly in a post that went Godwin five words into the title. Top 10 reasons why Hitlery will never be president. And wouldn't you know that among his post-alphabet soup defecation was the fact that she's just not pretty enough. And rather than pour all of the derision and scorn upon him that he so richly deserves, I'm going to pull an audible and simply commend conservative columnist Don Fetter for admitting publicly that he'd rather fuck Barack Obama than Hillary Clinton. But in an effort to make Fetter's objections seem reasonable by comparison, Cheryl Rios, the CEO of a Texas marketing firm, has stirred up a shitstorm over her recent comment suggesting that women can't be president because of hormones and the Bible. Rios explains that if Hillary wins, she's moving to Canada, where they know better than to elect women to the highest office, except in 1993, which I'm guessing she doesn't know about. So to Cheryl Rios and all the other idiots that say they're going to move to another country if the candidate they don't like gets elected, first of all, we're happy to see you go. But secondly, nobody else wants you. Sorry. And not to be outdone, conservative activist and man whose obituary is bound to end with the words, and then he turned the gun on himself, Larry Clayman upped the level of rhetorical insanity as he is so often wont to do. In an interview with Pete Santilli, who once infamously called for Hillary to be, quote, shot in the vagina, end quote, Clayman agreed that Hillary, quote, is technically a woman, but she acts more like an evil man, end quote. And finally, we'll turn to my new bestie, Fox News host and endless supply of stupid, Andrea Tanteros. Now, I'll admit this one is less sexist and more just idiotic, but in response to reports that Hillary stopped at a Chipotle during her campaign trip to Iowa, Tanteros explained that the only reason she did that was to court the Hispanic vote. So yeah, I guess if she stops at an Olive Garden, a Panda Express, and a Popeye's Fried Chicken, she'll lock down all the minority votes, huh? Something tells me all it's going to take to win the Hispanic vote is getting nominated by the party that isn't threatening to secede from the union over immigration reform. Okay, so I promise not to fill the next year and a half of this segment entirely with sexist shit right-wing pundits say about Hillary. But I think it's worth noting that I almost certainly could. And with that, I'll hand things back over to Noah and Heath.